This video was made possible by viewers like you on Patreon. Parents strongly caution, the following programs are intended for mature audiences over the age of 18. These programs may contain some material that many parents would not find suitable for children and may include intense violence, sexual situations, coarse language, and suggestive dialogue. Oh, rude dude alert. What I love about this on The Walking Dead is I don't have to do a previously for. Oh, yeah. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? <coughs> I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. <laughs> hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Oh. <coughs> you can have some. Weird too. that they're bringing up that 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 car. We'll be car. In Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House. Yes, that's it. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go. What I love about a lot of those zombies, they're just like static images Why? moving. Clementine? Because Clementine! Than anime. Mm -hmm. And you really wouldn't notice. You think they would have fashioned some kind of body armor? Like, uh, the human jaw can only go through so much. And all you need to do is cover your limbs. Right? Like, all you really need to do is just wear, like, they actually have, like, Kevlar body armor like gloves you can wear that go all the way up your arm. You can get them on Amazon, man. I'm sorry. I might get a pair just for playing with Buddy. He gets those claws in. The zombie apocalypse ever comes around, bro. I've got my my arm armor at least. I know how to make body armor out of multiple different materials. Dude, all you need is like PVC piping would be strong enough. Like, you can melt that down. You know how they make Master Chief armor and stuff? Yeah. No, all you need is a heat gun. You Get put it here. in the shaper and you- There doesn't yeah. have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Oh, remember how it was like, you'll be able to see what I say next time. Are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. No. Vernon, you son of a Who bitch. Is Step in time, Clementine. You're fucking dead! I don't know who you are, but I will kill Swear. you! Do you understand? I know you will. She knows you will. Say goodbye. Oh, let's kill him. Where? This is bad, but we can deal with it together. We're going to need to hurry. By the way, shout out to Omi being a short king. <laughs> I just... Out of your league, bro. What she? She's got to be like six foot. How's that feeling? She's about as tall as Lee is. Maybe taller. Handboy says we stay in the short king. Yeah, Welcome back, Handboy. Right now. We don't have a lot of time. You don't got a lot of time. Why'd you leave that door open? About to have a lot less. Step in time. All right, we need. We need. We need. I know it's in here somewhere. You need to cut your arm off, dude. It's too late for that. You, the way your blood flows, I know. That like it's a protein based uh, right. virus. I mean, they put it the best way in Archer. Um, one of the newer seasons, they get shrunk down, interspace style, and put into someone's bloodstream. But they accidentally put in the foot instead. Of the oh brain. yeah, yeah, I saw that episode. Yeah, yeah, and then they he's like, <gasps> like hyperspace. If you mean like in Star Wars, then I guess kind of yes. Like she gets all mad about. I love scientific nerds who get mad about like science fiction we stuff. missed you're in his foot but if you get into the artery you'll be you got to be careful you'll be going at two miles an hour yeah what and arch is like ah oh, it's nothing but Archer? that's like basically that's basically like going like light warp speed, speed. yeah <laughs> and which warp is fucking speed great, in seconds dude. check this out check this out it's more for than just just for uh opening up some open two seconds. i know uh Trying to remember what that spreader is called. Red spreader. It's just what. 
By the way, people watching at home, it will not work to do what it's doing right here. It'll break first. Yeah, that's an elevator door. Those are pretty powerful. Like, you ever tried to open an elevator door when it doesn't want to be opened? You can't. Uh, I've had to, yeah. Emergency situations. Oh, this is why I'm so glad I don't live in a building with a fucking elevator anymore. Especially because I lived on the top floor. And I mean, so, like, yeah. I can... I can get the door open, we're just not closing it again. Right. So if you need to close it, you're screwed. That's mostly because I'm breaking the hinge on the I love not having upstairs neighbors, downstairs neighbors, an elevator, a lobby, stairs, just a yard. Hit him with that adrenaline. It's now or never. I'm awake. Hun, he's awake. We have to deal with this bite. Right now. That isn't and gonna you, work. Look at him. We've gotta save him. We need every second we have. Yeah, I know. We've gotta take the arm. You had to take the arm three hours ago when he got bit. Of not. Yeah. We know there's gonna be a lot of blood. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. Yeah, I'll probably die. Dies. Then I'd rather lose the arm and maybe and live than the No, the you won't though. It literally yeah. that's not how I know. That's just not how it works. If they had a skill saw when he first got bit, it's not maybe really our call. But that was like then. literally Shit. bit chop. If we yeah. take off the But that was like bad, the that one was the bad. one thing in the World War Z oh. movie that I hate that they did right. Gal Instantly gets it. chopped off the arm. Yeah, Gal gets bit, he just lops her arm off like and he did it cuz he counted how long it took for Okay, the first of all First of all, in that movie, the whole <laughs> counting thing is completely inconsistent. Yeah, I know. So, don't even bring that shit up. That was bullshit. I'm like, just saying, he did it like a millisecond afterwards. She got bit, he shoved her to the side, pulled her knife out, and chopped off her arm. No, he just whipped out his own machete. I, I, no, it was hers. Uh, whatever. No, we leave it. Trust me, I'm going to need both arms to fucking Are you sure? face what's coming. Yeah, I feel like I got time. Just keep an eye on me. I get my hands on the bastard who's got clear. Hey, if we're lucky, maybe I'll turn right as I grab him. <laughs> You're gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna die, and so is he. We're all gonna die, kid. You guys keep an eye on that door. I'll work on getting us out of here. We're all gonna die. the The problem is, are we gonna save Clem before or after we die? Oh, definitely before. Cause it, is, it is a classic narrative, after all. Because if we save Clem, kill the guy that kidnapped her, we all die, and then zombies get Clem, we didn't really save her now, did we? No, zombies aren't going to get Clem. There's three fucking games after this, man. They all have Clementine in them. I don't know how to break it to you, she's fine. Okay, sure. That's how that works, apparently. <coughs> Who's ready to climb? All right, up we go. We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it. Why? Floor. Zombies can't use ladders. Sounds good. <laughs> the worst is they hear you. They walk towards the opening and they fall to their fucking death. So unless the humans that are your enemies are still in the building, there are no humans left. This town is dead. I, like quite literally. Right the, the only, only humans left are the old people, the cancer people. And us, including Kenny, and whoever kidnapped Clem. There are definitely some undead in there. Though, I don't think, no matter how hard they hit a wall, you're not going to move you're an it. elevator like that. Yeah. They, don't, they don't move like that. See, look, here's what's going to happen. Shit. Stop Everything whining like a there. bitch, dude. Oh, just move. fucking peachy. They're, they're dead already. Just don't get hit when they fall. Yeah, I mean, like, you're already bit. Whoa. Lee. Lee. Oh, God. Are you alive? Get up. By the way, if I cut off his arm, this would have happened anyways. Because he would have died anyways. Because that's how the virus works in The Walking Dead. You have to pull yourself up. Come Good on. things your legs got stuck in there. I'm sorry, we're, I'm, we're none of you... gonna fall, though. Uh, yeah, right. Good okay, job. his legs getting stuck and keeping him from dropping, that's one thing. His gun should have But fell. his gun should be gone. Also, at no point did they pick up any holsters, did they do any, like, cardio training, crunches, squats. 
Like, you don't want to do weight training in a zombie apocalypse. What you want to do is cardio. Best thing you can do is run from the undead until they disintegrate, until they deteriorate, until they fall apart. Like, or at least the degrade push them out of the way or keep decompose moving. enough that when you hit it with a crowbar, they just splush. Like, you know that 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 alien UFO thing I got in Fallout 76? That'd be yeah. a perfect thing to hide out from the undead in. It's got a cage door and everything. You can just go down and just, like, stab a knife through and hit him in the head through the chain link. Uh, well. Wasn't this city empty not too long ago? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. Kept the undead out. There's thousands. Land hasn't changed. Seems like they followed us here. Yeah, we had a loud-ass train. Be, can it? They... It was a train, Dick. Can't track. All they have they to do is move. follow the sound. Land hasn't changed, guys. We'll get to her. And when you were we'll on the train and you got this stuck, is, this is what I was talking about earlier about being a pragmatic a leader. Way to make it it's like, town. okay, the situation's Good. kind of worse, but the plan so hasn't changed. I don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. It's the bite. Just have to deal. Just let us know if you start feeling funny. You mean hungry? If things are happening. I know. It's just dizziness, that's all. I don't know, man. You got any red meat? I'm all good. I'm kidding. <laughs> they look at it with horror. Yeah. like, I'm kidding. I'm good as I can be. You got any red now meat? What? All I see is gray meat around here. We need to get down there and find I don't know. My meat's looking more. a little tasty, though. Let's try to get our bearings. You missed it, then. Your brain is gray meat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, then Omid doesn't have to worry. Also, zombies don't eat brains. Exactly. Zombies, that, zombies that's the point eat, of the joke. <laughs> yeah, zombies only eat flesh. Like, I always hate the trope of zombies. Like, you think a human jaw can <laughs> bite through a human skull? Um, you have to be on some special kind of crack. Like, yeah, maybe if you were on actual crack. Well, once okay. they're undead and they're exactly. tromping through, they don't feel the damage they're well, doing. Well, they don't feel the damage, but they're also dead, which means their bodies have already started to deteriorate. The moment you die, your body starts decomposing. Unless it has, like, some kind of, like, fem like unless the virus has, like, a natural formaldehyde, which it, is what necessity. Well, the zombies in my show, that's the thing, that's why it's lasted so long. The zombies have a natural formaldehyde. I don't know why. I don't know who did this. But when I find them, I'm gonna kill them. Good help. Hey. I think you're Clem's favorite, you know that? Really? Yeah, she's a big fan. You get away with shit I never would. We're getting her back later. You know that, right? Yeah. <coughs> I actually like I'll be too. He's get out of sight, I'll leave you with him. You get me? I guess. <coughs> How's the leg? It's good. How's the arm? It would mean shit if you hadn't left Clementine with me when you went into Crawford. The little girl saved my life. Yeah. She's something, right? She really is. She's a good kid. I'll see if we can make it out to that bell tower. Okay. Be careful, though. Run and jump! Ah! Splat! Thanks. Dude, you just saw a ladder. <laughs> I know. But I also want to see someone try to make the run and jump method and fall to the ground below. Uh, well, if we had kept Ben alive. <laughs> so, if Ben had lived, there's a moment where we're jumping through an apartment off of a, a like a metal balcony thing hanging out the window. Okay. That, like, leads to a rooftop. But, like, the second to last person, it loosens. Then Ben, ben goes drops. to jump, and he drops. And then if Kenny comes with us, he goes to save him, sacrificing himself to put the kid out of his misery instead of being brutally murdered by the undead. Which leaves... And if Kenny had come with us, there was a moment where he would have uh, gone down to uh, save um, What's-Her-Face as well. Since Ben is dead. There's a lot of different alternate timelines that happen. Like this, this is one of those games that's great to play multiple times. Yeah. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Though there's get not as many choices as you would probably want there to be. You know? And the, the choice I would actually make in that situation. My legs feeling better. I don't get that choice. Oh uh, yeah, no. Leave, leave Ben to no. die horribly. We have to decide to take a risk like this. 
should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? Also, I it love that this again? game tries to play the morality tale of like, <gasps> if something happens you killed people. It's like, people got. who were trying to kill me. Those guys were cannibals. Remember the farm? Those guys were cannibals. They have eaten. Who, who knows how many survivors they have eaten since the beginning. Also, Omi, can you Hurry. hold the ladder? Christy, Krista, Crystal, Kristen, Christina, Chrissy Romano, from Even Beast. Stevens. Somebody grab the ladder! Somebody grab the ladder! <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> you fucking Holy with me? Shit, man. You fuckers! You this is why suck. you don't trust people in your party. Try to find another way out of there? The only way out of there is you go down to the ground floor, bring a fucking ladder back up, asshole. Alright. Fuck you, fucking. It's locked. I love how he only uses the one the hand. In here's locked. Because technically he should be missing an arm. Oh, like you'll yeah. notice his he, from here on out, his left arm will act very uh Because people assume they cut off the arm. Yeah, it'll act very different to how it normally acts. See? Granted, it is bit, so it's probably not feeling great. It's probably feeling hot and numb, given how the virus works. But still, they very much act like it doesn't exist. They're coming this way. Ring it in. Tons ding. of them. Jesus. Now get back here. I'm pretty sure this proves there was no Jesus. <laughs> like, what kind of god would want this to happen? Also, I don't think the apocalypse was supposed to be taken this literally. <coughs> I always felt like it's like, oh, when there's no more room in hell, nobody else it's dies. Fuck, be careful. Nope, it's much, much worse than that. It's not <laughs> that no so one else fucked. dies. I'm so fucked. <laughs> no, you should watch Torchwood, where the season where everybody becomes immortal, but Jack Harkness becomes mortal. That's a good one. It's got the Q and Newman from Seinfeld. It's got a lot of fun actors that show up in that show. Come on, give me your hand. None of you even bothered to try to help. Amazing. You guys are assholes. Nice. I could have done this without you. Now let's I would the hell definitely out of here. shoot someone in the kneecap. I've always wanted to do this last part with no one else but Lee. You know? That would have been an interesting one. <laughs> uh, like if I left everyone behind maybe what happened wouldn't have happened you motherfuckers. Penny They fucked us! What? Who? Vernon. He didn't have Clem. So where the fuck is she? With someone else. We're going after her. Fuck. Just... Oh, I guess Jesus. Kenny does come with Wait, us now. the cancer patients did this? Yeah, they were waiting. Tired of living underground, I guess. They kicked the shit out of me and tossed me in here. Just I goes to show. I'm sorry, you got your ass kicked by a bunch of old happened. cancer patients? Really, Mr. Florida, Alabama man? Floribama? That's great that you can be tough about it, but how do you feel? I feel like I want to cut something off. But we're going to keep it. I took a couple spills getting back here. So keep an eye on me. Jesus. If I left everyone behind, would it have happened? I, would you, I really, I actually, I really want to know now. I kind of want to do a playthrough to find out. And let us into the backyard. We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. <coughs> Shove it, okay? Worry about the boat after. 
<coughs> the goddamn coast looking for. I'll make that bastard wish the cancer had got him. You're welcome to. Oh, oh. Let's calm down. God damn, Kenny. Getting edgy. <coughs> right? You know, with the big wrought iron fence and the. I mean, that's a good backyard to defend yourself in. Realistically, right? Like, that's a brick house. And brick house, brick fence. Like I would be, I would be gates. in the house. I would be in the backyard. The only problem is that fountain in the middle. That's water, dude. <laughs> the only, actually, the only problem is the garage because that's just. It's a wooden structure. It can be broken. But like the zombies won't be trying to get through that. They'll be looking at you. That's what people don't realize about the undead. They don't recognize doors and windows as doors and windows. They just, they just see, see you and try you, to walk hear to you. you. So if they hear you on the other side of the wall, they'll just pound on the wall. If they see you on the other side of the gate, they'll just come at the gate and like reach through. But they won't like be like, oh look, there's an opening. Let's go through that. You know, like yeah. yeah. So I'm very into zombies. Well, I know you two are just. <laughs> Where everyone else was. Number one. And number two. Back was like, oh, you like the Romero movies like from the seventies? Don't engage him. There's other shit at play, all right? What, you got the boat hidden somewhere? Shut up, dude. Watch your mouth. Get to the countryside. Dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. He's right. Take countryside, man. Live a safe Big, way. wide, open yeah. fields where you, you can see get anything coming. Open spaces. You know that's what I'm for. Wide it's space bullshit. where you wide have place to... Wide open spaces! Whatever the fucking song is going to talk about. I think about all it's the skills I bring to the table hey, in this environment, and it's like, She's okay, let's one. go to That's Nebraska. That, okay? what about? Fuck. Somewhere See, like what's what's shit, that what's that hell? one in what's that one uh, state that's so flat it's like a pancake? I can't I remember which one it is. Shouldn't That's the one you want to go backyard, to. Right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, but there's tornadoes there place. every Crystal. year. Cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, zombie NATO. Oh, I just thought of the new shark NATO spin-off zombie NATO! You want Oh to my god! Zombie? If you wanted to rain zombies all over Oh, that'd be place. such a cool movie! Hey, if you wanted that'd to... That'd be way better than Sharknado. If you wanted to rain the zombies all the time, all over the place, I'll just put in some landmines, dude. No, but think about it, though. How fucking hilarious of a movie would that be? Like, uh, yo, there's a tornado coming! You just see all these zombies in there. Like, <laughs> Makes more sense than sharks somehow surviving all the way in a windy-ass tornado and stuff. Like... No, Let alone my God. five different movies of happening. Somebody hit up Max Brooks. He can write that. I've never seen this Sharknado. Make sure nobody's here. On it. Jimmy, look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. We'll do. Oh me. Kill everything that moves. What is it? <coughs> Go now, front hallway. God damn it. Again, this wouldn't happen. They would just bang on the door. Lee, Unless help. it was already Cut a crawler. Arms off. There's gotta be a knife or something in there. There's an axe. Hurry! Gimli! I need your axe! There it is! Let's go! Perfect! Take their goddamn arms off! They're strong as shit! Hey. Hiya! 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 That is a good knife! Rich people, huh? I bet that was one of those nine thousand dollar Japanese crafted knives. Yeah, uh, you get one of those. That would be good. Get ready to fight. Like it wouldn't this be a good main weapon, but it would be a good side weapon. Honestly, uh, you're fine. Honestly, what you want is one of those like long ass fucking knives, you know, like that. Then you can just like drive it into them. Oh, Bridget, that's fucked up. That chick, remember? Guys, help me with this. Go, Lee. God damn, what is this? The fucking old office desk? <laughs> Jesus. It looks like it's made out of oak. It might be. Right. Ah, that is present. We need to get upstairs before the event gets slowed down. Dude, you know Donald Trump is totally that guy that would get bit and not tell anyone. 
why the fuck did they move there instead of shoving it down the stairs? Wow. The point is to collapse no. the stairs. Oh, I know. How many bullets y'all have? They could have at least clogged the stairs. Now, the point is to collapse the stairs. That way they can't come up. Freak scene says happy birthday, D. Thanks. And hi, Freak scene. Welcome to the show. Crack! <laughs> Freak scene, crazy to think he's already 18. <laughs> Go. Crowbars, man. If all four of them had crowbars, like those long ones, they could have held all that back. <coughs> hold them. Three of you hold them back while one bashes their fucking heads in. Until you eventually have just a wall of dead that they can't get through. And then from there, you make your way out through a window or something. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? I know, thinking, it, it, like, we have hindsight. You know? Okay. But, like. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kids yeah, made it this gotta far. Keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I'd have a baseball bat, crowbar, hatchet, knife, machete, several firearms, no roof access, and a wooden boating oar. Anyone have any ideas? Ooh, yeah. Because you get a wide swing with that. Just like the uh, whacker sma or the uh, paddle smacker from the Moonshine Jamboree. You just cut down the middle of the oar, you put a meat cleaver blade in on each side, and you seal it back up, and it's lightweight, and it's so got a chopping edge. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. And it's something that the house to clear out is to easy to make ground. on the fly. Yeah. Oh, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna take a nap. Good night. 